All right, today we're gonna do a fly pattern I like to call the brush mullet. Really simple mullet pattern, comes out looking just like a little finger mullet fishing here in the spring. First thing we wanna do is go ahead, get our thread started on this Gamagatsu SL12S short, and we're just gonna bring the thread all the way back to where the barb of the hook is. First material we're gonna tie in is this white crystal flesh. So we're gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of this. Maybe when you press it about the quarter size of a pencil there. Good. Cut that off and fold that piece in half. We fold that piece in half. We're just gonna go out and pluck the centers just to make a taper on each end. Fold it in half again here just to find the center. And we're gonna tie the center down onto our hook, on the top of our hook shank. Fold this piece back over and come back and just tie it right on in. The next material we're gonna use is three inch Senyo Chromatic Brush from EP. This, just trim a little bit of this wire out of there. And I'll tie this in right here on the back. And we can go ahead and palmer our Chromatic brush forward, I usually like somewhere around nine or 10 wraps. So, two, three, four, five. Now if it starts getting a little bit too messy for you, just take your bock in, come in here and just kinda pick it out and just make it a little easier when you got to pick it out later so you don't have too much of a clump, too many fibers getting trapped. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, we can just go ahead, just clean it up just a little bit with our Bakken. We're gonna thread it back a little here. Separate some of these fibers out and just go ahead and tie this down. Get your bad pair of scissors or some wire cutters. Cut that out of there. Should be able to get about three flies out of each uh, brush of this chromatic brush. Then we're just gonna take our bock in again. Just go ahead, kind of pick out all the fibers that got trapped. Just do your best to pick out as many as you can. You're probably not gonna get them all, but you get the majority of them. And then I just like to come back with a little comb and that'll just help pull any extra fibers out that you can. You already see we're starting to get that little teardrop bait fish shape going in there. 
So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple of grizzly hackles to go down the sides of the fly. So just find yourself two nice hackles. Kind of measure out how far you want them. Hold a few of these back. We'll go ahead and tie one in on this side of the fly and then we'll tie one in on the other side of the fly. Cut out your excess. Take this other one, just kind of measure it up with the first, get them roughly the same length. Try to get them straight. <laughs> if not, they, if you don't get them on there perfectly straight, when you put the next step on, it'll usually help them straighten out and stay in place. Uh, tie those in there. And cut out your excess. Uh. The next material we're gonna take is EP minnow head brush, the 1.5 inch. And we're gonna do just like we did in the step before. Cut off this excess wire. And we're gonna tie it right in. Bring your thread all the way up to the eye of the hook now. And again, we just take our hackle pliers and we'll just palmer this forward, stroking it back all the way to the front of the hook. Usually you get right around eight or nine wraps on this 2.0 hook. If you were using a 1.0 or something smaller to do this with, you probably only get maybe six or seven wraps. I really like the 2.0 just because I get a little bit bigger of a head on there. And I try to push as much water as I can with this fly. Almost to the front here, probably two more wraps. That should do. And we'll go ahead and tie that down. Again, get your bad scissors and cut out the excess. Here we take a bakken again, pick out those trap fibers. Kind of stroke all this back and just wrap back on a couple of them there. You don't have to go very far with your wrap back, just make it a little head here at the front. Now we're going to take our whip finish and just whip finish that. And we'll be done with the tying portion of this fly. If you got any loose hairs or anything up here, just take your lighter, quick little singe. Get rid of all those. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to color the top part of this fly with a uh, Sharpie. We're going to use this uh, the silver Sharpie today. So I'm not going to show you guys the coloring part. Uh, most of you learned how to color in kindergartners. It is kindergartners. So we're just going to show you the finished product of what it looks like when it's colored. And you see all I did was just kind of hit the sides and just kind of angle it back a little bit. Didn't go all the way to the back. Just mostly covered up the minnow head on the top and just a little bit of the senyo brush. So the next thing is fly knees is a couple of eyes on each side. 
We're gonna get our gel super glue and some eight millimeter 3D eyes. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue right behind our thread wraps and just kind of press our eyes on there. Take our Bakken, press that down for a couple seconds, and that'll hold. This Loctite does great, it dries really quickly. Uh, if you get it on your fingers, good luck pulling your fingers apart. But as far as fish being able to knock your eyes off, it does a really good job of keeping your eyes on. So again, just kind of put it right behind the eye there. Use it back into your Bakken to kind of push it down a little bit. And after a few seconds, those eyes are pretty secure in there. So, the only thing left to do is just come back and trim up this fly. I like to start on the bottom part of the fly and just kind of hit it at a little bit of an angle and then round it off. Just kind of get it even with the chromatic brush. Come back to the top fly and just kind of do the same thing. All you're doing is just rounding it off, making it look a little neater. If you got any little stragglers sticking out anywhere around the eyes or just looks uneven anywhere to you, just go ahead, just, just try to make it round, kind of a little mullet shape. If you get any fibers on the eyes, just wipe those off. And then you can you can leave it just like this. It'll fish great. I like to come back and just hit the end just to make it a little shorter, a little stubbier. Just give it just a little bit of a haircut, not much. And that's it. That's the brush mullet. Thanks for watching.